Hey, welcome to Burke Mountain. We are in British Columbia, just north of Coquitlam, hiking our way up Burke Mountain to Sawblade Falls. Trip plans filed. We are ready to go. But first, if you enjoyed this video, please want to remind you to like it, give it that thumbs up, and share it with your friends. And of course, subscribe to our channel, ring that bell, so you don't miss any of our other awesome episodes. Always at the back of the group because I gotta stop and take video and photos. And... Always the vlogger and always exploring. So let's go find the secret spots of Sawblade Falls. Our team hiked up the Coquitlam Lake View Trail, following a network of trails, allowing us to create a big loop of about 30 geocaches on the slopes of Burke Mountain. Our destinations for this hike included the Coquitlam Lake Viewpoint, as well as Sawblade Falls and some several scintillating sites along the way. All right, so Bryling's got our first find of the day. Good job. On the on the woodland walk loop trail well done and how was the peanut butter um, gone oh that's disappointing what do you think geonaf bros i think that's a beaut that's why we you cash for these kind of views <laughs> as you saw just a moment ago some beautiful waterfalls as we follow the creek bed up and uh just a great day out with our friends finding geocaches. So keep watching. We've got some more cool stuff coming up for sure. So we're still enjoying our hike up. Um, we stopped and checked a couple of geocaches as you've seen and uh, continue to make our ascent. The uh, total ascent for this hike, I'll put the stats down there on the page so you can take a look and see. But uh, it's a lot of up yet to go. It's always pretty cool when you feel like you're the only ones on the mountain. Oh, and here we have the junction of the trail, which means the cache is here somewhere. So checking with the crew, figured out that we need to actually come back for this cache. We're gonna go that way first find a couple and then come back down the trail. There we go. All right, you and bros. Good job, buddy. Ah, another one. Whew. Stamped. With those geocaches found, we kept heading up and along the way found some amazing amphibian animals. Yes, two toads tucked totally tightly to the trees. We're getting our elevation up now. Check this out. We rose roughshod round rocks and roots, agilely ascending our way up and steadily stretching over streams and heading once again up, up, up until our eyes encountered an unusual sight. Well, that's a strange place to leave your bulldozer. Halfway up a mountain. Honestly, it's time to get in and take it for a spin. Take it for a spin. <laughs> I mean, so. This is how we're going to get back down the mountain. I'm currently COVID <laughs> and with the dozer detour done up the south slope trail, it was time to return to the Coquitlam Lakeview Trail for some more fun finds. My turn to find one. The hint says side of Triceratops skull. Right there. Right here. There's a. There's the Triceratops skull. Oh, we know we can trust Mrs. Monkey to lead us to adventure, and our epic team uncovered a few more finds until we arrived at this unnamed tributary to the Coquitlam River, 100 meters above Sawblade Falls, but still a beautiful oasis. So we haven't made it to Sawblade Falls yet, but partway along the way, same creek, 
And wow, what a just beautiful spot to find a geocache. So if you're planning on doing the Burke Mountain hike up this one that we did, uh, we'll include a lot of the stats down below, how long the hike took us, distance, elevation gain. So it'll help you, you know, do a little bit of planning. Our total hike kilometers for the day was 22.5 or 14 miles. So if you're planning to tackle it, take your essentials and leave a trip plan. Get more information on planning a hike at adventuresmart.ca. Okay, well, I went up the little hillside here. It's my turn to try and find one. Let's see if we can get that. Look down, down, lower. Oh, little rock shelf oh, with this suspicious looking rock. And hey, there we go. Hey guys, I found a geocache. <laughs> and soon we were at the lower viewpoint, but we knew there'd be a better view up there. Up there? I guess up there. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Exactly. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. So we go up the uh, what else we see is going to come up <laughs> the new viewpoint summit here. Check this one out. No cache over here. We already found the cache, but there's probably we're hoping a good view. Let's find out. So we have. Uh, made it from the summit point where we were able to show you those amazing views back down to a point where our trail is splitting for us again and uh, we're going to go back down a different way and off next Sawblade Falls. We walked right underneath this because we were so busy looking at our feet <laughs> but a very cool sign. Next we carefully carried ourselves down the steps to Sawblade Falls. Here we are at Sawblade Falls. Team's getting some fresh water from the base of the falls, filtering it out. A little bit of confusion on this one. The map says it's on this side, but the logs say it's on that side. And there it is, right where Geoquan found it. That little hidey hole. Good job. <laughs> and just a bit further down the trail from Sawblade Falls is Woodland Falls. Another beautiful little spot here. The water flowing behind us and a cache right in front of us. Right there. Nice big one too, hey? Let's see what we got here. Wow. That is a big lock and lock. Beautiful location, BC. Just gotta love geocaching here. All right, I'm gonna hit the trail, head back up to the other guys since I came down for this one. And uh, we'll keep going here and see what else we can find. We weren't getting stumped on these caches, but we were about to see a stump the likes of which we'd not encountered before. That, my friends, is a metric buttload of stump. I'm certain you'll agree. Our epic team journeyed ever onwards, adding more finds to the day's total, enjoying the enormous beauty of the British Columbia forests in this pristine provincial park. So that's the last find on this trip. Now we're going to make our way back up and out to the trucks, but I hope you had fun coming along for this adventure. So I hope you've enjoyed this adventure. And again, please remember to subscribe to our channel if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up a like and share it with your friends and of course thank you to our patron family who make this and every other episode possible make sure to check out patreon.com slash land monkey big bison tube you got there lady <laughs> we hope you had fun coming along on this adventure and uh there's something else i wanted to say and i don't remember what it is Monkey, what do you think of the trail so far? <laughs> <laughs> Take two. If I did that, you'd have to face the other way and catch their expression. <laughs>